Welcome to the fifth down. I'm Jake Vanderbrook. We are now in week five of the high school football season here in Northeast Michigan. Our featured game of the week was at Hillman where the Tigers hosted the Thunderbolts of Mayo. Both of these teams can put points up on the board in a real hurry and both teams are coming off of wins last week. Hillman went on the road and defeated Augre Sims by a score of 52 to 20 and Mile defeated St. Helens 68 to 12. The question is, can Hillman stay undefeated? And this wasn't just a big game, but it was homecoming night for Gunnar Melgen and the Tigers. The very first play of the game, Gunnar Melgen takes this handoff and he is going to go 63 yards to the house. The Tigers strike first, but here come the Thunderbolts. Brandon DeFlorio finds Drew Hess, breaks some tackles, and he is able to find his way in for the touchdown. Two-point conversion good, and we're all tied up at eight. Next drive, DeFlorio. What is he going to do? He's going to move to his right, and he has no one open, so he's going to take off and run with it. And there he goes. Goodbye. The Thunderbolts take the lead, but miss the two-point conversion as they're up 14-8. Early in the second quarter, Nash Steink drops back, takes a shot down the field as he was looking for Sean Hannigan, but this ball gets tipped and intercepted by River Wisen, and it looks like he'll return it for about 15 yards, but no, think again. He's going to keep this play alive by cutting to the left, and there he goes. He takes it back for six more, and to top it all off, Brandon DeFlorio goes with the bootleg, and he is going to take it himself for the touchdown. Mayo snaps Hillman's undefeated streak as they win 34 to 14. Brandon DeFlorio had himself a game. He went 7 for 12 with 95 yards and a touchdown, as well as 7 rushes for 93 yards with 2 touchdowns. After the game, Mile head coach Jason Sosha liked what he saw from his senior quarterback. Our offense runs through him, you know. Um, I've had him since fifth grade, and um, we run a system, and I have, you know, total confidence in him. He calls all the plays for the, on the line for us. You know, so he's, you know, just a great senior leader. He gets us in the right play, the right fit. Very smart kid. Knows how to read a defense. Um, you know, unselfish. Spreads the ball around. Now to the other eight-man score. On away takes down Augre Sims by a score of 52 to 32. Brendan Fenstermaker led the offense with 113 yards and three touchdowns. Daniel Price led the defense in tackles with 12. And Kevin Pearson managed to record three fumble recoveries and an interception. He also recorded two rushing touchdowns on the day. On away's next game is home as they square off with Atlanta. All right, when we come back, we're going to be switching over to 11-man football. Don't go away. You're watching the fifth down on WVKB. But first, let's get a look at the Hillman Marching Band. Welcome back. Now let's switch gears to 11-man football. The Rogers City Hurons are off to a slow start on the season as they come into this game 1-3. and three. They had a hard time putting points on the board as they lost to Mancelona by a score of 20 in the nothing. And for Escoda, they've been hot as a pistol and look to keep it that way throughout the rest of the season. Last week, the Owls traveled to Ohio and defeated West Unity Hilltop 50 to nothing. All right, let's go to Oscoda. Oscoda is going to get the ball first, and they aren't going to waste any time going down the field to set up this pass. As senior Brayden Malik is going to find his receiver, Owen Franklin, who's going to put a move on a couple defenders and get the first six points of the game. Moving on, Roger City has to punt, but the Owls are going to put the pressure on and get to the ball before the kick gets away. And senior Andrew Dalt picks up the loose ball and is going to run it in for the touchdown. Just barely getting it to the corner. Now the Owls are up 20 to nothing in this game. is starting to get out of hand, but Oscoda isn't done. Braden Mount threads the ball through two defenders to find his fellow senior Robert Host for the 80-yard score. So the offense and special teams both are able to produce touchdowns. But what about the defense? Well, under pressure, quarterback Isaac Hine is going to take a chance, but Oscoda's Owen Franklin is back, and he's going to read this all the way. Oscoda wins this one by a score of 54-0. to zero. We have a defensive uh, plan every week. 
Um, you know, I, I think our kids have bought into the fact that we watch film, we do film study, and we practice the film study, and the kids are getting better with it every week. And to be quite honest, you know, uh, the last four weeks has been outstanding. You know, 21 points on the year. Um, we're allowing about 3.9 points. It's just unreal. And, and they bought into the fact that defense is fun and, uh, you know, it's just the way it is. And, 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 you know, they played great. The Johannesburg Lewis and Cardinals are still undefeated, and they look to continue that, but had to go up against a physical Tawas team. Coming in this game, the Braves are 3-1, and one, coming off the nice road win against Burton Bentley by a score of 59-8. to eight. Let's see if Tawas can snap Joe Berg's winning streak. Let's start out in the second quarter. Preston Marlette on play action has all the time in the world as he takes a shot deep to the end zone and finds Jason Richter for the touchdown. The extra point was good. We're all tied up at 14. Then in the second half, the rushing attack comes in the swing as Logan Faraday is able to punch his way in for the touchdown. Extra point, no good. Joe Berg up six, and they just kept cruising cruising along as Sheldon Huff makes his way in for the touchdown. All Joburg does is win, win, win no matter what as the Cardinals take down the Braves by a score of 26 to 14. The Cardinals next game is Friday as they travel to Charlotte Boyx. Tawas drops a three and two on the season. Their next game is Friday as they host Oscoda. And now it is time to thank our fifth down sponsors. The fifth down coverage is brought to you by Alpena Agency and Auto Owners Insurance. Auto, home, life, health, and business, we make insurance easy. The Aplex, Northeast Michigan's premier events complex. Visit aplex.org to find out more. And MidMichigan Health Rehabilitation Services, helping you return to your highest level of function or performance.